We are in Miami Beach. We're in Miami. Look at this amazing view. We certainly didn't start out with that view. In fact, quite the opposite. Our initial experience at the Fountain Blue Hotel, which is a five-star resort, was a little less than a five-star experience. But come with us because we're going to show you how it got turned around. We're also going to take you on a tour and give you our honest feedback on this resort. I'm Mark. And I'm Jackie. And, and this, this is, is the, the Empty Nester, Nester Life. Life. We flew into Miami's hectic and crazy airport, finally found our way to our luggage and was able to catch a cab ride over to the Fountain Blue. According to their website, the Fountain Blue Hotel is an historic and architecturally significant hotel offering luxury style and glamour. So our expectations were, you know, quite high. When we checked into the room, you know, started kind of rummaging around a little bit, it appeared nice at first glance. However, as soon as we started to settle in, we found a lot of issues. The main issue is it was just dirty. There were sticky substances and hairs and stuff you really don't want to find when you first check into a hotel. And so we were going to head downstairs and complain, but we were starving. So first on the list, we went and explored the hotel a little bit to find a restaurant. We are exploring this hotel right now. And we're clueless. <laughs> We found the spa, the gym, the pool, a lot of the great things about this hotel. Now, it was later in the day, so pretty much everything was closed down by the time we were exploring, but it looked beautiful. Nice, Atlantic. Huh? Huh? And look at it, it's blue. Eventually, we found the Arcadia Grill and decided that was the winner winner burger dinner for the night. The food and service were excellent at the Arcadia, needs to be said, but definitely overpriced. $176 was the bill for two burgers, a salad, and a couple of drinks. Shut the front door. After dinner, we went to the front desk to complain about our dirty room. They didn't have anybody to send up to clean it and unfortunately couldn't move us for the night. But they did say to come back in the morning and they would take care of us. We decided to go take a walk on the beach before heading to bed. And every now and then, you run into Jackie. Mark, what is it you just said? Probably shouldn't have to clean your room. You shouldn't really have to clean your room when you just check in. <laughs> it's very... What are you gonna do? You figuring it out? I'm trying, yeah. A sign up for an account if you don't already have one, which of course we don't. At first, you know, we were just going to grab the city bikes and then we remembered that the hotel actually had bikes and that you could use them free for two hours. So we did. There's Jackie back there. She's trying to catch up to me. She's doing the best she can, but she's much slower than I am, of course. <laughs> Kidding. We rode down the bike path all the way to Ocean Drive through the Art Deco district, and then we stopped for breakfast at the Cafe Americano. If you're looking for a breakfast restaurant in South Beach, we definitely recommend it. Food was excellent. We did learn though, 
that it looks like everywhere in Miami actually put some type of a service charge onto the bill. In our next video, we'll talk a little bit more about that, but it's just something to be aware of. Where we were staying was around 44th Street. So to get down to South Beach, it's around 15th Street and that's where South Beach happens. And South Beach is known for its beaches, the glamorous scene around these happening night spots, not that we hit any of them, lots of celebrity chefs, there's chain stores and there's indie fashion shops. Hey, it's, it's a really fun thing to do. White sand beaches, the water is super warm, it's clear, so it looks really clean. And there's plenty of room on these white sand beaches. So people watching, pool parties, we didn't do one. I understand there's famous there for pool parties. South Beach was, was beautiful, uh, it was well kept. It wasn't dirty or anything like that. There was a park down that main uh, area. And it was just a, it was a really good time just to ride our bikes, um, check out the people, people watch was great. And then turn around and ride home. We had such a fun adventure using these bikes, heading down to South Beach, but you know what, now it's time to head back to the hotel. It's now past checkout time, which is when we were told to come back to the front desk to see what the hotel could do to make things right regarding our room. And this is where our experience starts to really turn around. We were greeted by the manager who said, listen, how can we make this right? She said, this is your moment, so go ahead and ask. She said, this is your moment, and I hear, I hear um, a soundtrack coming up behind me. <laughs> what was your name? My name's Brianna. He's amazing. She's giving us champagne moments. Well, yes. Jackie anyway. <laughs> Jackie's moment. Now you're going to be on our empty nester live. <laughs> Wait, will you please say that again? No, it's for Mr. Jackie. This is Mr. Jackie. And this is for Jackie. So great. Cheers. Brianna actually hooked us up, moved us into not only a better room, but even a different tower. We headed back to our room, packed everything up that we had already unpacked, and waited for the bellman to come and help us get moved over. Pack it up to a new beginning. This experience just got completely turned around. You have to see this room. Brian. I hope you watch this. You hooked us up. You. You. <laughs> We're moving on up. Hold on. We got a little kitchenette and a sitting area. Our old room right there. Look at this little outside. Ooh la la. <laughs> no, but a sides. lot more room. Two At sides. least two sides. And we got a tub. I mean. We get our own fryer. I'm right now um, trying to just hang in there because I'm really hungry. <laughs> yeah, that new room is cool. Now we're starved. But. We're pretty excited. I'm excited because we're at this um, little beachside restaurant and it looks really cute, expensive, but cute. Basically, we would just say be prepared. Everything at the Fountain Blue is expensive. However, after checking out a little bit more of Miami Beach, we learned it's pretty much the entire area. For the rest of the day, we hung out on the beach before going to our opening event for the convention that actually brought us to the Fountain Blue in the first place. Mark wanted to know 
Where's the transmission rebuild area for the guys? If you guys got lipstick, I want to know where we're rebuilding those C6 transmissions. Okay, so no transmission rebuilds, but they did have hand rolled cigars. What are we doing in Florida? Well, I'll tell you what, Mark. What? It all started because I had a company conference. It's true. Realty One Group Base Camp was happening here in Miami, and it was important for me to be here as part of our leadership team with the Realty One Group Mountain Desert. Yeah, Jackie's kind of a big deal uh, real estate <laughs> trainer. Well, I'm just literally just kind of tagging along. That's really what this whole deal was about. Like, do you want to go to Florida? I'm like, yeah, okay, let's go to Florida. <laughs> prayer. Heavenly Father, we just thank you, Lord, for this day. We thank you for each and every person, leader here in this room today, Lord God. United States in 1999. So I came with a big dream, huge dream, to conquer all that I wanted to conquer that I couldn't do it in my beautiful country, Colombia, at that time. Food, food first. Uh, food. Oh, there goes Carmen. We went to Tampa on a Friday, hung out there till uh, Monday, actually. Yeah. Then we flew from Tampa to Miami, which if we had to do it over again, I think we would have just kept our rental car and and drove here honestly 280 miles <laughs> by the time you have to get to the airport early you have to check in you check your luggage you do all the things yeah we nice. literally could have driven it and it would have been fine so whatever it's all good now we know in and just like that our time in miami is done for now check it out 7 30 in the morning and Leaving Miami, headed to the airport. We're off. So in the end of the day, what is our impression of the Fountain Blue? Honestly, Mark and I aren't mega resort type people. We usually only stay at them when we're there for a convention. But in this case, we're really glad we had this experience. If you want to stay at the Fountain Blue, here's our recommendation. Definitely splurge for the upgraded room. It really enhances the experience. Also, make sure you've got room on that credit card because you are gonna spend a lot on meals and some extras if you really wanna get the most out of your stay there. Overall though, it's a great property, beautiful beachfront, lots of amenities, and of course, it was the staff and the people that really kicked it up a notch. Brian, we can't thank you enough. Okay, this experience just got completely turned around. And of course he flushes the toilet right then. <laughs> Let's do a take two. <laughs>